um, in that area. And we're not, we're not, we don't intend to let her go. You know, I, the school district may have thought, may have forgotten that in South Central, we don't mess around. Okay. And we do want an end to all, to, to the jailing of all our beloved teachers, to, to all of our teachers that care about students. Right. And uh, this is a, we, we're, we, we've uh, been passing around, students have been passing around a, a fuchsia ribbons, our favorite color, been getting students and community to sign petitions. We're going to be continuing this fight uh, until she's back, until she's back at the school. That's right. And uh, the, uh, the, the, the last thing I'll say is this, this policy of jailing teachers that are pro-student, that are, uh, that are fighting for what public education really should mean. This policy of putting them in teacher jail on baseless charges is a policy of the district at the top. Superintendent Daisy must go now. Dr. Yeah, Stevenson right, right, has been right. for, for right. close to 30 years now her, to the uplift of students in that community. And for no reason at all, for none, none at all, she's being, she's being locked away in teacher jail and being prohibited from interacting with her students. That's a sick policy by a sick superintendent, he's got to go now. That's right. Yeah. We demand the return of Dr. Iron Stevenson immediately. Let Stevenson now, go! Uh, I just want to let you let some of the students and community uh, speak. All right. Tell us your first name and your name. My name is Keisha Stewart, K-E-K-A. -E I am an 11th grade student at Crenshaw High School. of the shyest teens I've ever seen out of their shelves, myself included. I wouldn't even be considering putting music as a talent in front of anybody for her. If you look deeper, if they even think about having a heart, they would let her go. Yes. Do not keep Ms. Stevenson from her work, from her legacy. Carla is one of the best choir director teacher at Crenshaw High School. I thank God for Mrs. Stevenson because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have been going out of the country and meeting nice people. Mrs. Stevenson isn't only our prior teacher, but she is also a role model for all of us. She helps us with our problems and she also tells us to keep our heads up when we have to do nothing. It's not far for us because of the school board wants to keep her teacher here. It's not fair. She is a concert pianist. She can do all kinds of things, exactly. but what she does is take her gifts and she gives it to our kids. And right. it's, it's no secret that inner city kids already are impoverished. It's no secret that society throws them away. And what you and they're not stupid. They're not talentlessness. They're not. It's not that they don't have talent, but they need someone to bring that out. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And Miss Stevenson doesn't throw them away. That's she doesn't right. throw us away. Let me tell you, I'm one of those students. Okay? I came from the same ghetto, and you know what? My father passed in '96. I was very depressed. All of my grades dropped. But as soon as I came in the room, you know what Miss Stevenson did? She gave me a hug. She brought me in. And immediately, from going from that to going all the way across the country, to going to going out to Switzerland, to going to France, and I'm like, what? It's like, I'm like, what? All these blessings just coming my way. Because
because of Miss Stevenson, because of her connections, you know what I mean? All these celebrities we've met, we used to sing for Habitat for Humanity. We sang with Christopher Reeves when he was here to support his thing. We have done countless, countless award shows. We've been on the BET Awards. We sang with Stevie Wonder. Those are not people I would get to sing with on myself. I don't have that kind of clout, but you know what? Miss Stevenson, because of her talent, has that kind of clout. But she doesn't use it for her own selfish needs like a lot of these people. She should be out there using it for herself. She should be out there making millions of dollars and never help anybody. But Miss Stevenson feel like it's from God for her to do that. She's even put up her mortgage for her house for us to go to the Olympics. When we went to the Olympics in 2002, and she was able to help us to lead us to victory. We were the Olympic the gold States. champions for the United States of America, all the whole world. Come on, clap it up for that. Is I would say overwhelmingly like. 80 or so, 90 percent, mm -hmm. an outside agency notifies us of the issue. Okay. Either the LAPD, the FBI, the sheriffs, they bring to our attention an issue that's occurring. Um, and unfortunately, those issues are very serious. This person is accused of trafficking on the internet. This person is accused of uh, molestation, this person is accused of trafficking, drugs, prostitution, etc. Those come to us and those agencies do the investigation. We don't tell an employee anything unless that agency tells us what they can say. So we don't uh, take and overrule sheriffs or the police or the FBI in those what cases. What if it wasn't from the sheriff? For example, I'm thinking of a case where a teacher was accused of something by a parent that wasn't making criminals more like it cut them off in the parking lot. And they were removed, and they didn't know why they were removed until the music I think it's bizarre that people would clap when we're looking at ensuring child and safety. It's an important like, question. Sir, don't raise your voice to me. Okay, but I don't raise my voice to you. Don't lie to us, then. I don't lie. I'm trying to. We will always make the decision to err on the rights and the safety of children, whether people are comfortable with that or not. You don't look in the eyes of a child who's been molested with his parents. I do. discussing the rights and safety of children. It is the first and foremost thing we do in LAUSD. Alright. I don't want to get into specifics because there's not really the time for that right now. No, we should not talk about other individuals. It is their private right to either their attorney or their union. LAUSD will take as long as necessary to do its investigation to protect both the rights of the employee or the teacher. Thank you. All right. I'm not sure I understand this question. I'm sorry, it was only me. Since district gives over $6,000 per student, why does LAUSD only give $300?